Hi YouTubers, how's it going? Today I'll be doing an installation guide on my JVC speakers for my Nissan Almira. For this you're going to need a cable stripper, your pliers, the screws that came with it, the speaker itself, some more pliers or cable cutters. That's the original speaker, which I'll go more in depth in a couple of minutes. The cable, some scissors, screwdriver with different screws, uh, another screwdriver, face plate, electrical tape and draft excluder. Now this is the original speaker that you can see, very old, very nasty looking. It's uh, made by Panasonic and it's only 8 watts. So yeah, let's get this underway. Okay, first off we're going to um, fit the fixing bolts, if you can see those there. Uh, I've done all three of them now, I'm just going to show you how to do the last one. So you want to get your little washer and then just get it on like that. Easiest way to put it in is use some pliers and then just force it down and there you go, nice and easy. Then you want to get your little speaker itself, goes on that way. Uh, just try and hold it in place and then get your screws. Get my screw. There we go. And then just don't screw it all the way in, just do it a little bit and then repeat the process on each of them. Get in, get in, get in. There's one, two more left. Not gonna go in. <gasps> Damn it. There you go. And there you go. So once all of them are in, just tighten them all up. Okay, once all of the screws are um, tightened so it'd be nice and secure we're gonna fit some draft excluder and the reason we're gonna do this is you'll see in a few minutes if I just cut say that much it doesn't have to be perfect it's up to you how you want to do it just get the stickiness off and then you just want to go around the outside There's one there. Uh, about that much. It's up to you if you want to go all the way around or just on two sides. For this one I'm just going to go all the way around. A little bit more there. Doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's just on the rim. It is quite windy out there today, I'm afraid. Good old British weather, I suppose. And there you go. Okay, the next part is to actually remove the old speaker system. Okay, to actually take off the old setup, there are four screws, as you can see, there's one there, one there, one there, and there's one behind there. So if we just take off this cover, kind of doing it one handed, get into focus, no. There you go, there's one there. If we just start off with that side, let me just get my screwdriver. Uh, where is it? That one. One. Uh, 
then there's another there. I am doing this one handed, so bear with me on that. Whoops. And the last one, which is right there. Okay, if I just uh, pass it back to my cameraman. The next bit is to actually remove this, and it's pretty simple. Once you've taken out all the screws, you just want to put it out towards you. Now I've already taken out the cables pre-hand, which is one there, and then it's just one there. And then we look behind, there's the actual speaker itself. And then all we gotta do is take out these screws. So if I get my screwdriver, take this out. Uh, where is my screwdriver? Where is my screwdriver? I found the screwdriver, so just take these out. It might be a bit tight for some people if they've never taken these off. So that's one. I wish I had an automatic screwdriver sometimes, but oh well. That's that one. That's three. And one more. There we go. And the reason why we have the draft excluder is that these are bigger than this one. This is a 6x5 and they don't make those sort of size speakers anymore and this is a 6x4. So this is going to sit nicely on there so hopefully it will prevent any vibration and then we want to get the washers which came supplied and then just slot them in those do it to all four and i don't want to do it okay like so and then we want to line it up if you see these bits is where the screws are going to be and the main thing to take note is that we don't want to tighten them too much now i want it that side i want it that side okay so you probably have to push this down a little bit so the, the screwdriver actually screw I mean sorry actually gets in the hole uh, there you go do it angular that's the best way to get it in oh no it's coming up it will be a little bit fiddly, so just bear that one in mind. Okay, and then the last one. Okay, so they're just just barely holding it in. And there you go, that okay, came out again. Come on. Okay, I'll screw you down. Now, we don't want to screw this in too much, otherwise it will break the plastic uh, holding bracket. So, just go as far as you feel you're comfortable with. I'm just going to give it a few turns, and hopefully it will be enough. So, I've already installed the left-hand side, and this is the guide for everybody. So, if you see that, the draft excluder has expanded out it's almost like made a seal but hopefully it should minimize any vibration
And then the next bit, what we want to do is get the old cable. And whoever owned this before was a bit of an idiot and clearly tried to do it before. So uh, if I just put it out, as you can see, they did something and screwed it up. But that will be the next thing that we'll be doing. Okay, so next will be the setting up of the cables. So this is the um, one that came supplied. Uh, the bigger side is the plus and then the smaller one is the negative. So we just want to use our cutter to just cut a little bit, not too much. Or it's up to you if you want to do it a little or a lot. And I hate these things, so just be careful just trying to get it out. Oh, bugger. There you go. That's one. Just twist it around. And then do the same for the other side. That was pretty easy, actually. Okay. And then we'll just uh, connect it already set up on here. So plus. And then there's minus that way there you go and uh, I don't know if you can see but the cable is got a solid black line uh, make sure you pair that up with the existing cable on the car so if we move up there's the old one as you can see someone clearly tried to do this before but didn't do a great job so it's already cut and there is some sort of stripiness there, so I just need to cut a bit more on this side. It's about that much. There you go. And then a bit more there. Not too much, don't want to break it. There we go. Do the same, just give it a good twist. And then on that side, okay. Now, this cable is a lot shorter, so if I can balance it like there, okay, let's find the uh, solid cable, so right there. Now, I'm just going to be twisting the cables for just for the purpose of this video, but I don't advise doing it this way. Uh, I recommend if you can solder it, do it that way, or get um, connectors and then crimp them together. But just for the sake of today, I'll be doing it like that. And then there we go. Okay, and then just to make sure that it works, I will quickly go outside and um, start my engine. So just bear with me. Hopefully it should work. I think so. Yes it is. Okay, now you know that it works, so we could go turn the engine off. Make sure these cables are on nicely. Oh, as best as I can get them. Oh, there you go, it's come off. Oh no. See, doing it this way is a lot fiddlier, but I don't have a solder at the moment. Or a wireless solder, like a battery powered solder. And then I just need some electrical tape. Uh, where is it? And there it is. And then I need my scissors. I only want to cut a little bit, I don't need too much. And then oh, make sure the connections are still joined. God, it's stuck to my finger. There you go. And just 
go around, around. Press it down. And then we want to do exactly the same for the other side. There we go. Okay, they're all in. Hopefully it should hold it for the next part, which we will be putting it all back together. Okay, once you're all happy with the way you've installed the cables and so on, it's time to get this fascia back on. And if you notice that there's two little, like, sort of prongs there that you need to bear with yourself, they go here and behind here. And don't forget to connect your light back up, which I'll quickly do right now. If I can do it now. No, where is it? There you go. Yep, that's it. Okay, so if I move the cable down, get the seatbelt out of the way. Uh, okay, this last part is probably the most fiddliest, so just be patient, I suppose you could say. The seatbelt is a bit of a pain. Oh, nearly got it in. If you've got small hands, you can move the plastic out. Oh, nearly got the last one. Aha, and there we go. Make sure this plasticky stuff is in there. And then, once you're happy with that, it's a simple case of putting all the screws back in. So if I get the screwdriver and the right screw head, we can start putting it all back together. So one goes there. Be careful that you don't cross thread the uh, existing hole. Nice and tight. And then we just go do the same for the old ones that you saw in the earlier. Two, and then third one. There you go, and then there's that one. And remember that the last one had a little cover. If you can see that, just pop it back in, and voila. That is all there, and once again I'll quickly go turn the engine on to make sure everything's working. Bruno Mars for everybody. Um, well, that's some simple DIY on how to fit my JVC speakers and a Nissan Almira. Uh, Almira. Hope you enjoyed the wa uh, watching. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Thank you for watching. 